They are many. They are common. But we believe here at J&K Carpentry Bros that the common rafter is the most important rafter, which means it's all the more important that you calculate it correctly the first time. You're going to save yourself a lot of headache down the road. Come on in. We're going to show you how. The length of our common rafter is going to be from the beginning of our common cut to the edge of our tail, like this. Remember, it's going to be flush with the outside of our wall. Just like when we showed you the principal rafter calculation, you're going to need two pieces of information for your common rafters. You're going to need to know your run, and you're going to need to know your rise. But we don't need these here. Now, time to do some basic math. So, in order to find your run on your common rafter, very similar to your principal rafter, you need to know the center of your room. So, since our room is 36 inches wide, we know that it is 18 inches to the center of the room. That's our first step, but we haven't found our run yet because we have to account for this ridge. Now, the ridge is an inch and a half wide. So, to keep this in the center, we're going to deduct half of the width of this ridge from our 18 that we just got. So that makes it 17 and one quarter. And now we have our run. As you can see, we used a 2x6 for the Raptor Master 3000. But looking at your print, you're going to find that the engineer asked for something specific, whether it's a 2x12, an LVL, or a full size beam. Whatever the case is, in order to find the run of your common Raptor, simply divide the width of that ridge in half, and then deduct that from half the width of your room. And there you go. Next, you're going to need to know what your rise is. In order to find your rise, just like with the principal rafter video we did, you're going to need to know what your pitch is. You'll find your pitch on your print, but we know the Rafter Master 3000 is a 6 pitch, so that's what we're going to go with. Time for some maths once again. To start off with, we need our run, which was 17.25, divided by 12, as always, and that should equal 1.4375. Now we simply multiply 1.4375 by our pitch, which was 6, and that will equal 8.625. And now we have our rise. It's just that simple. Now we have our rise and we have our run. We have everything we need to find the length of our rafter. Now say it with me, kids. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Or to put it another way, rise squared plus run squared equals the length of your raptor squared and then you find the square root of that number and you've calculated your first common raptor congratulations now you know how to calculate a common raptor which is more than a lot of carpenters can say but there's so much more to learn next we're going to be going over hips and valleys make sure you subscribe for part three and come on let's make knowledge common again